Hey guys, back again once again. Uh, today I'm going to do my version of Mexican street corn. Um, so bear with me on this one. Uh, look it up on YouTube, uh, Google and stuff. Uh, thank you JB if you do see the video. Hey man, thanks for sending the link. Um, but I'm going to kind of do it my way because it's good. So, alright, what we got to do is in this bowl, we've got a bunch of ingredients laid out. What we need to do is put in some mayonnaise. And they call for a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise and uh, sour cream. But that's what I'm. I don't know. I just don't think I'm gonna need all that, in my opinion. Now I'm about, I might be wrong. Okay, that jar is. Well, it's still, it's damn near a fourth of a cup. Rinse that off. Yeah, come on now. Cool. Now, so we'll do our sour cream the same way. Okay. Now they say in that uh, video to serve it with lime. Well, I don't have any lime, but I have lemon juice. So I figure might as well put just a little bit in maybe a table teaspoon I mean teaspoon of that they call for garlic so I got some garlic pepper do about a teaspoon of that and a teaspoon and a half of some chili powder Something like that. And what we're going to do is mix this up and let it sit in the fridge for a little while. And uh, let all those ingredients get to know each other. Like I say, I, I just honestly think it's too much. But, uh, that's all right. I got chips. I'll just dip it in there. What the heck? So yeah, you got the point. Now I'll see you guys out here on the grill. All right, guys. Um, in the bucket, I've soaked this corn. I'm gonna go ahead and open the grill. Grill up. I'm take this corn and kind of let it drain, you know. Get some of the moisture out. Plug right on the grill. And spin you over here. And we're going to cook that for a while. I don't know, good 10 minutes. And I'm going to rotate them all the way through and we'll be back here shortly hey guys I just uh, went ahead and rolled them one time I just wanted to let you kinda see you know what you're looking for um, probably should turn on this other burner but I'll just kinda move them around it's it's real real simple but um yeah, we're going to cook them and, like I say, at least, at least 10 minutes. Sorry, I got you going everywhere here. But, um, at least 10 minutes. Then I got to shuck them. And then we're going to grill them on the outside. Or, well, on the inside then. It would be the corn piece itself, the ear. Uh, for a little while, get a little char on them. Then we'll put this, uh mayonnaise and uh, sour cream mixture on there 
and this recipe was calling for like a, either a, a Mexican Mexican cheese or feta. Neither one do I have. So, like I said, I'm doing it my way. I've, I've got some uh, Mexican blend cheese, you know, that shredded stuff. It'll work. It's going to taste the same. Somebody's over here cussing. I'm going to turn off the fucking... Yeah, it's about to get loud. So, I'll see you back in a little bit. Alright, y'all. I went ahead and uh, just turned off the gas. But this is kind of what you're looking for. They get just uh, burnt a little bit. <clears throat> like that. That's just the outside husk. But um, it's heated through. So I'm going to let them cool down before this white guy decides to peel them. I, I did it before when they were, they were way too hot. Bad, bad idea. So I'm going to let them cool. Keep the uh, lid up. And... Um, then uh, we'll start our next step. Alright guys, this thing is cooled off enough. It's still pretty damn hot, but... Throw them in the handy dandy bucket. I don't like that top piece. We'll get rid of that. Mmm. Sweet. I'm just, uh... The way I, I love grilling corn now, because this uh, the silt, it comes off so much easier than if you were gonna boil it. So you had to pre shuck it, and of, of course, but um, I'll tell you, grilling it, it just gives it another another flavor, and it's so much easier to shuck. So I hope you can see me. I don't know. So that piece is already blackened a little bit. That's good. That's extra flavor. Hot as hell, too. So, let's shuck one more for you. But that silk just rolls right off there. I love it. worst thing is is you'll get some um, you know like pieces of crap in your grill but either way you know you got to clean it anyway so, might as well so um, like I say we'll be back here shortly alright guys so we got them shucked ready to rock and roll I got them in this uh, little Pyrex dish so what we got to do here is it, it's plain and easy and simple throw these on here we'll go with the big boy over here another big boy big boy and that one and I want to rotate them now if you want to here come look at me boy if you want to see if I'm tightening this lefty it's weird when you're doing it backwards righty tighty lefty loosey all right. Either way, um, if you want to, they suggest to melt yourself some butter and get your nice little brush and brush them. And you can go right ahead. But I figure we're just—I'm gonna just crisp them up myself, and uh, then we'll roll them in or brush on that mixture that we've made. And I taste it. I think we're gonna have to add some more hot, uh, add hot sauce. Just give it a little bite, you know. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's really, really good. But um, you yeah, know, something different. Um, and you know it's Louisiana. You use whatever you want. Um, so yeah. So you can brush them with uh, the butter, but with the mayonnaise and the sour cream cheese. And then I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm having uh, steaks. I'm having fresh um, yellow squash with onions that I've cooked. And crabs. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have my calorie intake and then some tonight. So. I'm going to be fine. So we don't need to add butter. Just 
fuck it. So, yeah, like I say, we'll just uh, spin these things here. They're already starting to cook pretty good. So, let's turn, let's turn over here, yeah, boy. Starting to already kind of cook up. Just a little bit. Nothing, nothing major yet. We just threw them on. But like I say, with the crabs and everything, shoot, I don't need, I don't need butter. So I'll be back here in just a little bit. Like I say, we're just gonna roll them, and then I'll, I'll probably just see in the house there. All right, y'all. Um, corn's done. Let's put a little bit of this Louisiana in there, just for an extra kick. Something like that, just because uh, I know Jessica, she likes hot, finally, but I don't want to make it too hot on her. Give this a nice stir. And damn, it's going to be a really good dipping sauce. So, let's move over here to the corn. And hopefully I'm not going to be too much in y'all's way just seeing what's going on, but uh, mainly what you got to do need a lot more. Maybe they're, they're right. I don't know. Smear this stuff on one. like that all the way around it's like that okay and uh, let me get back to you here in a minute just do all of it like I'm doing alright guys so I got these nice and coated Let's put on a little extra chili powder for shits and giggles. Like that. And then sprinkle on just a little bit of cheese. Not a whole lot. You don't need a lot for this dish. It's just something different. Perfect. Now, they say to serve immediately on this uh, directions. But after I've got already all this cold stuff kind of put on there, I don't think uh, that cheese is going to melt just right. So. What we're going to do is throw it up here in the oven just for a couple minutes to get that uh, cheese nice and melted and man I guarantee it's going to be good. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to definitely put up some pics of that. Um, the rest of the meal is going to be badass surf and turf with some Mexican street corn. It's going to be a good night. So, um, like I say, thanks for watching again. And uh, hope you like it. Try it. Um, Google it, YouTube it, whatever you want. This is just my version of the way I want to do it. So, uh, we'll see you next time.